Battle for Africa was um, inaugurated about 2013. Um, we started off um, looking at three markets, energy, water and food. And we found very quickly that we focused down onto water. What we're doing is really, we're taking the water into the community and not taking the community to the water. And to do that, you know, we have to have the right solutions. And the, every solution is slightly different. One of the main things they do across Africa, not only just in Ghana, is they do water pumps, which is a standardized water pump. Um, you come along, they drill a borehole, then they have a pump, a man pump, put your pump away and the water comes out. However, what happens is there's a lack of operation and maintenance. So when that breaks down, they go back to walk into the river to collect the water from the river and there's no money there to go and fix it. So what we're trying to do is actually stop the walking, you know, three, four, five kilometers to, 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 to get the water and actually bring the water to the people. And that access to water enables them to change the community, change how they're going to work around that community. To get that water, we need solar. We need solar and we use solar powered pumps that pump the water from there, from the source to the holding tank. And the holding tank then pumps it to the distribution points. And at those distribution points, we have um, a small uh, cap revenue capture. So it's a cash based system that actually then use um, solar panels there to capture that revenue, you tap on it, and it gives you 20 liters of water or a liter of water that you want to do. And the solar is the most important thing because that gave us our green, accredi uh, green accreditation. That green accreditation you know, enabled us to really look at different goals and how we can work with that. The project will take out 280,000 people out of water poverty. And UK Export Finance's expertise um, their relationship with uh, the Ghana government, uh, their understanding of the processes, the understanding of the actual work that needs to be done and how protractive it can be on both sides of camp uh, really helped us uh, guide us through the, this maze of, of yeah, bureaucracy to, to say the least. So UK Export Finance actually funded the project by providing 85% of Export Credit Agency fee uh, funding um, and then the 15% was then supplied by a commercial enterprise. So without that, we wouldn't have had the opportunity to move forward without their expertise, without their trust and belief in us as a company and the objectives, we wouldn't be where we are today. So UK Will Finance, thank you.